I say there's a, the other day, um, talking about it, I started calling it it, the, the, the it, the thing which happens in the workshop and we go, ah, there it is, the clowning, there is that, it's very common, the valued thing, um, the thing we value, because I don't know how to talk about it otherwise, we could talk about failure and um, as a uh, assumption of one's own um, the failure in front of others and so on, but they, they don't really tell us why and what that thing is and why I, at least, and many others in clowning, go, that's what we want. Um, and then I go and see Sharon and think, that, that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. So, so that's, that's what I'm doing. Puzzling. Puzzling to me. And within my own performance as well, because I struggle with that. But there must have been a point when you, that, that, that performance had that thing in the workshops to go, yeah, let's, make, let's continue this to be the performance. Yeah. Yes. But then my question is: Is it possible, or is it perhaps something which only happens in a in a workshop? Yes, maybe. Is it so? I think it depends on the thing. So say there's that moment where it's shoe shake, and you want to recreate that exact moment in a performance. I think if you're re-rehearsing that bit, isn't there a potential that it becomes something else? Yes. Whereas if the goal is to be spontaneous and hope that something arises, then it becomes a bit more about improv, maybe. Yeah. Which might be kind of simultaneously harder and easier to stage in some ways. And that if you're improv, you don't have to plan for anything specific necessarily, but also it might mean that nothing happens. Hmm. I mean, the thing is with, with this strategy, as I'd call it, the structure of the exercise, it's a strategy which you <coughs> it, it deals with all situations, I think. You know, if there's silence, I leave. If there's a laughter, I, I stay. Um, so there's actually no call for doing things. Like I said, with the shoes, we're one of those people that likes to do things. Yeah. So, um, but there's actually no call for that necessarily. So, in terms of improv, in its more conventional way, if I may be so bold, um, uh, there's not that demand to create stuff. Um, it's merely a, a um, form of relating, quite a brutal form of relating between you, spectators, me, the clown, um, or you, the classmates, me, the, the clown student doing the exercise. So it's, um, it's, a very, it's kind of a straitjacket on the whole thing. Um, so well, yes, of course, if I try to recreate the quality of that movement with the shoes, you, you would be into something else. Yes, I don't know. It's not that way I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in, well, what was the strategy which led to that moment working, whatever working is, and why can't I use it in performance, or can I? So that's, that's the thing. Um, well, um, I was struck at how much of a performance, I mean, don't, don't take this the wrong way, I'm meaning this in a positive light, but a performance like teaching was, in that uh, I'm not left with the sense that I'm actually laughing at the chair. I'm laughing at how you teach the chair. Does that, does that like, uh, for, that's my personal assessment of it. Um, but but um, the f what distinguishes, I guess, a, a good teacher from a good clown performer, um, it's obvious that you are, you know, a, an excellent clown. Um, and I would just say that the, the use of props sort of show that it makes me wonder whether or not teaching clown is in essence making them feel like they're being funny. Do you know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think. As, as opposed to, which is in itself a sort of performance for the class, as opposed to them, I, I wouldn't say if, if you walk away from the chair or, or the, those shoes over there are hysterical like right now, it was what you, the teacher, were doing with them. Do, do you see what yeah. I'm saying? Sure, clearly. Yeah, I mean, I think that's maybe one example of some of the things I'm interested in, that how does the teacher, I mean, I alluded to, to it before by, you know, admitting to, to being a dictator, you know, mm. teachers do this, they set this up like that, so this might happen, will happen, if it 
doesn't. You failed. Um, so that thing about making, you know, if it's only about, so that comes to the question, is the clown itself only, only created, is it produced by those particular circumstances in a context? Or is not it's just teaching clown teaching your tricks? You know, you know what yeah. I mean? That, that but thing yeah. A chair could be funny. <coughs> well, yes, well, if the chair can be funny, then well, what the hell is clowning? <laughs> you know, so. And what is teaching clowning? Yeah, so on, we could have teaching clowning, which could make a chair funny, or a person funny, I said person because it wouldn't be a chair. We have performing clowning, which could make a person funny, a clown, and now we've got this weird thing I've just done, mm. made a chair funny. <laughs> so, is it the, what's the thing? Is it the thing that makes the thing funny, or is it the thing which is funny? You know, it's like, you know, the, the, the flowers, you know, are they, have they got funny flames? Well, no. But, you know, I can convince you, uh, I didn't convince you, they did, but you, yeah. You see, it's, it's like, well, where, is there anything left? Is it just these frames, these contexts, these um, conventions? Slightly confusing for you perhaps today because I don't know what you thought you were coming to see. You were coming to see a show, and then I try to kind of confuse you and say, well, it's not a show, and it's, cause it wasn't a show, but you know, I let the show, show this happen. That was part of the plan. Um, it wasn't a workshop, so I was trying to sort of squash the two together a bit. Well, that's so far okay. I wonder, so you. By imposing the setting of the workshop as the teacher, you actually, so these were objects, could have been people, but right now these were objects. And the reason they made sense to me and the reason I found them funny was that you have placed them in this context. So I have done this exercise with you and the reason that I found it funny, both when I was watching and when I was doing it, was that I was in a very specific context. Uh, and that context included not only me and the stage, but all the people who were watching. We were all aware that I had a name. And because I had a name, my movements and reactions to my movements made sense within that aim. Uh, and I don't know maybe the reason they can't be transferred, well, or whether they can't be, can be transferred onto the performance stage depends on whether that context is there. So, as an audience member, I was expecting to either laugh and make it go forward or just to stop laughing and make it go backward. Um, whether in a performance space audience members are, are aware of that, I think makes the whole yeah. thing. I mean, I kind of suggested, and uh, perhaps this is up for debate, that if you come in to a, oh, I'm going to see a clown show, that would be precisely your expectation. I will laugh, I will not laugh. No, you don't really have other options. Um, so we didn't laugh, it was terrible. We laughed all the way through, it was a great show. Really liked it. Um, so, I would say, um, unless I spring it on you, which I kind of did a bit today, um, you know, I mean, the, is there any clowning unless you know that there's supposed to be some clowning? So, and once you know there's supposed to be clowning, then there is clowning. Is that the end of it? No. So, so, this thing of finding that amazing thing in the workshop, which I feel, lots of people, you know, and uh, that, that's the problem for me, is that I see it, I experience it, I see other people do it, I've experienced it myself, it's like this, ah, big feeling, big pleasure, and yet, when I look at things, I think, well, it isn't a thing, or is it? That's, that's the problem. And, and that it's such an interesting thing for me, that I even want to perform with it exclusively. So it's that important to me that it becomes this thing, and yet when I really get into it and look at it, there is no thing. Any other questions? Amelia?
and um, that can be quite individual. Um, and that also might have things to do with how supportive you want to be. So for example, if, you, if we're all understanding this exercise, I really wanted to laugh, and I felt sad when, when there was no laughter and then yeah. the thing moved back. I really wanted to be supportive, but I also think there would be people who would go, I'm not going to laugh unless it's really funny, you know, and kind, mm -hmm. of, make, and kind of make it a competition. And I think there's something interesting in that that's quite pleasurable as an audience. That would, that would be really exciting in a performance. And I think if there was a way to establish the setting without having to tell them the rules, yeah. that would also be really exciting. So your pleasure is actually in that, oh, it's so sad that the chair's not moving. Yeah, well, it's like, it's the fact that I'm like, why am I sad that the chair is moving? The chair, you know, like, you know, or even like, why am I sad that a person is moving if they're not, it is moving backwards, if they're not particularly sad about it. Um, <laughs> I, I, I personified my own understanding of success and failure and like, giving them a purpose and a meaning in the room, even, the, even if it is just to walk across the space. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. There's something quite, it, it creates a kind of drama that's, that's yeah. exciting. I realise now, just to say uh, that that while you were speaking, actually, I mean, that that my use of objects it, it strayed seriously badly into into the realm of puppetry. Yeah. Um, and I hadn't thought of that before. How stupid! I was thinking I'm going to use these objects, and it didn't cross my mind that I was going to be doing puppetry. <laughs> um, and of course, yeah. So perhaps it'd be interesting doing it without objects. Where would that here and now be without the the framework of the the exercise, for example, or the framework of the we've come to see a clown show, or I'm in a clown workshop? That that's the thing. Because if we're saying it's in the here and now, it's a bit like me saying that's what I'm really interested. That pleasure of that, you know, it doesn't really. I don't know. Perhaps for you, that that terminology takes you to a precise understanding. But for me to say it's in the here and now doesn't really get me any closer to to the it. That's new to me. So everything. that it was actually my expectation to laugh or not laugh being the reason why I laugh or don't laugh and it had very little to do with the chair because the objectification made it apparent that it was ridiculous for me to expect anybody <laughs> let alone an object make me laugh so in 
in, in a very strange way because you sat with us. I realized that the whole hilarity of a clown's performance lies in me, not in the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to write my thesis? Actually, yes, so those last two comments, actually, that's very interesting because I find that quite convincing, what you've said there. And yet, what Ed has said about the, mm, the, um, I can't, but I'll say the thought which I had, which came from what you said, was that there were times when I was controlling, saying, okay, don't, don't do a performing bit here, i.e. Don't, don't look at them, at you, in order to get the laugh or the, the, the not laugh, yeah, um, that's too easy, um, that would just be the show then, so, so keep some for, away from them, so okay, so here's the chair, and, and um, actually my greatest pleasure was bit when I was just looking for the chair, I think because the shoes were there as well. Give me a good conversation. <laughs> and um, I don't think it elicited a lot of laughter, um, but that, that was actually my greatest pleasure because I was denying myself the pleasure of, which I normally have of going, oh, is that funny? Um, oh yes, it was, thank you so much. And such a wonderful clown to make me laugh. So I, I didn't have that. So, so that's interesting. Any final, do you need to say anything, thoughts? Thank you very much indeed.